Good evening from Jakarta. I am still in Indonesia and it's Friday night. So, I'm dressed up for you. How are you? Hope you're all doing great, right? Okay. So, this vlog I think is the fifth vlog of this year. I am delivering it on Friday for the second week. week. Mm, I'm just going to talk with you about beauty about here sorry <laughs> because i haven't switched on the air condition i normally switch on the air condition after 10 pm and now it's only 9 pm because then you know i'm trying to uh, economize with the electricity bill here since jakarta is quite expensive especially with a big house like mine so first of all I would like to share with you and I'm proud to say but I have nothing against what I'm going to say all right cosmetic surgery cosmetic surgery meaning nose job eye job uh, Botox cheekbone job uh, there is the not exfoliation there's another term for it to clear your skin uh, boob job behind job well ladies and gentlemen i haven't done any single of that job and i have nothing against those who have done good for them kudos to them but to this day I haven't done a thing I haven't done a thing with my nose or eyes or cheekbones or jaws I don't have I'm just accepting with what I am given and I'm happy with them for your information therefore I have not have any need to do the cosmetic surgery um, and since let's say three years ago I have lowered the standard of my skincare I used to wear Estee Lauder's especially I used to apply Chanel Christian Dior those three the most they were my brand brands to facial care beauty but since three years ago I've changed to oil of Olay uh, only six months I changed to L'Oreal and also I've even gone down to the local products local um, creams and serum oil I've changed to the local products as well not thoroughly not completely but one by one so these are the products that I apply to this day and here I am I am happy I feel that I don't have the need to prim myself to beautify myself because I think I have already a sufficient uh, attempt to make myself beautiful I'm just happy with what I have so that's one it's just a matter of trying to take care of your skin uh, the routines that you have to uh, adapt for your face the shape of your face or the skin type that you have and uh, just do whatever is best for you in my opinion the same also with the weight 
enjoy eat what you like but also have self discipline in trying to cut down some things or try to go on a like raw diet for two weeks maybe or if you don't like meat then you don't eat meat but maybe once in a while once a year the reason I don't eat meat is because I forgot not because I purposely want to go vegeta vegetarian because I've never been a vegetarian I've never been a vegan but I did some raw food which I enjoyed very much and I can always go back to that whenever I have the uh, uh, feel for it or the need for it and um, I eat meat whenever there is a steak or whenever I feel like steak I would buy and have steak so my the essence of my message is do what makes you happy but always um, moderately enjoy life just eat whatever gives you pleasure but maybe just one time not every day that's what I'm trying to convey to you so now back to my style again first of all I have already mentioned in my previous videos that I don't have social life in Jakarta not because I don't have per se but I opted not to have since I have to be a little bit wiser for the time being that I don't need to buy new clothes I don't need to buy new accessories I don't need to buy new shoes bags I don't need them so what I do is for example again back to the old timeless style that I have that things that I purchase so that I can wear for years without being seen as out of fashion that's why I never buy anything fashionable if you like to buy something fashionable you want to follow the trend at that moment buy but you don't need to buy expensive one just buy like H&M or Sara because then after you can throw even though I must say I had a sweater that I purchased in Sara like oof I don't know uh, let's say maybe 12 years ago that sweater until now I wear in Milan because the quality is good surprisingly enough they said that the quality is not good the quality is really good so it all depends so for example this dress this dress is 20 years old the earrings is eight years old and then you just make it classic make it timeless looking do I look like I'm out of fashion and that's the difference between fashionable and trendy and timeless and stylish so I'm sure I don't look out of fashion or I'm old-fashioned wearing this and yet this is 20 years old and this are eight years old so that's again another thing that I would like to convey and that's why I have this um, um, online course to teach how to purchase the right items to remain timeless so that you don't have to all the time change your whole wardrobe every so often uh, or throw things every so often because you can keep them for years and wear them over and over by combining you know uh, with the right accessories and so that's what another tip that I like to share and then as for skin always use body cream as soon as you take a shower you put on body cream and make yourself beautiful every day even if you live by yourself you know make yourself beautiful fancy yourself you know get the pleasure out of looking at yourself 
that you find beautiful. And that's it. There's not no secret potion that I take or no secret application that I do or no secret surgery that I have done. Just live life according to what makes you happy. That one. So, and I saw the other day that um, men prefer younger women. Naturally, naturally. By all means, you shouldn't be angry with the men who prefer younger women. You shouldn't be offended by this man. He's just being a man. He's just being men. You know, let him enjoy his life too and make his own choice because I saw just to yesterday and today there's this French man who doesn't want to live, uh, who doesn't like a woman who's 50 years old above. Let him be. Why are women so angry with him? You know, we women also, we can say the same thing. We don't like maybe uh, old men or we don't like young men, you know. So why is it people become so offended just because this man says he doesn't like to be with women who are 50 years older? It's his right to say that, to do that. Why isn't he free, free to express that? That's one. And instead of maybe apologizing, he doubles down the, the statement by saying he doesn't like white women. Oh my God, that even <laughs> creates, you know, creates a terrible, terrible response by all these women. He doesn't like white women. He likes Asian women because Asian women brings another, uh, uh, you know, perspective deeper or maybe another different uh, uh, what did he write you know perspective in life yes because we have our different uh, culture we have different um, perspective perception tradition so it's an, another world opens up to a white man or to a western man to understand this but women shouldn't be angry that a man expresses his true authentic feeling and preference we shouldn't be angry you know first of all women who want to fight against men trying to show off who are better hey i'm not i'm not men are fantastic in their own way and we are fantastic in our own way i don't want to compete with men Okay, I don't want to compete with men. I, I, I need men in some aspects of my life. Why do we have to compete men and even worse, we want to condemn them. We want to persecute them. Why? Why? You know, I was married to an Italian man. Italian men are very, very chauvinistic. Very chauvinistic. I'm not talking about the younger generation. I have no idea now how the younger generation is. I'm sure it's better. But I'm talking about my husband's generation. Above. Oh, very chauvinistic. How I see the wives are slaves, treated like slaves, practically treated like slaves but the women who are their wives and treated like slaves have different con concept saying to themselves because I once asked but for them that is femininity for them that is femininity for them and Asian women are different our concept of femininity is that Yes, we serve men. We don't compete with men. 
but we have also our own principles. First of all, we have to be respected. Second, we have our feminine way to handle a marriage in such a way that we are happy and the husband or the man is happy. Well, Italian men, they are very, very chauvinistic that they thought that marrying a woman, the woman has to be slave, has, has to be servile, how it is said in Italian, to be slavish, you know, to be, or not servile means to be more, uh, yeah, serving, you know, serving. No, and I used to tell my husband that, but my husband never tried, okay, I have to defend my husband. He never, never tried to, to make me like a slave because he was so, so, so loving, so tender, you know. So he never tried to do that. The only thing is his friends, his sister, they thought that he became different because of me. Different because of me. But what I did was, you know, I was just being natural as a woman. And he perceived that himself. I never taught him verbally. But in, in the way I do things, he understood. But his friends or his um, colleagues or his sister, they looked at it differently. They thought I was manipulating him, but of course not. And that's why, you know, I, I keep quiet because I know what they assume of me is wrong. I didn't need to defend myself, you know. I didn't need to defend myself. So I let them perceive the way they perceive about me. So, they don't understand these things. So now men are not to be blamed if they now do not easily want to marry women or if they don't easily want to be faithful to women or they don't easily want to have a relationship, steady relationship with women. Women brought it. You know, women made it difficult. Yes, 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 there are men. There were times when I also wanted to <laughs> strangle my husband, you know, because he was a man. They think differently. They react differently. They perceive differently. It is up to us to how to make them see, but in a feminine way, not in a motherly way, you know. I told my husband, I'm not an Italian mother or an Italian sister. Okay, so don't expect me that, because if you expect me that, then you marry an Italian woman, not me. So he understood that because I have different ways of, you know, conducting my marriage, you know. I, I, there, was, there were certain things that I would do for him, there were certain things that I wouldn't do for him. And I'm so, so lucky and blessed that he was a really good, good husband to me. So, we women, we don't need to compete with men. You don't need to compete with men. You know, I need a man, you know. Suppose, for example, I have to carry something heavy now downstairs. Don't tell me that I have to say, I can do it too. Yes, I can do it. No, I can't. Because by nature, we women, we can't do it. We need men to help. Okay? And there are certain things things that we cannot see uh, clearly from our perspectives. Men see it differently. That could be of help to us. So the reason why I talk like this about men, because I don't have rancors towards men. Doesn't mean that everything was smooth with my husband or with the men friends I have had in my life. You know, but I love being with men. I love having their company, having their strength, having their perception, having their mentality, having their companionship. I love it. You know, I love having that. So, you know, I just hope that we don't, we don't, 
persecute men. Why? Why? I, I, I don't want to be with women all the time. And besides, to, for your information, I am more comfortable with men than with women. For your information. You know? But I have principle. Even though my friends are, a lot of them are men also. I have principle. And that principle is I will never bother or break people's marriage. Never. That is one principle. I will never break up a man's marriage first. Second, I will never, never allow to have anything with my girlfriend's husband or boyfriend or companion. I'm not interested. I am not interested with my girlfriend's husband, boyfriend or companion. I'm just not interested. It, it's not like I'm trying to tell myself, Meta, don't, don't, because they are your hu friend's husband. No, by nature, I'm not interested. They can be the most handsome. They can be the most uh, uh, interesting, fascinating, or they can be a rich man. I'm not interested. I'm not interested at all to try to lure the man from my girlfriend or to lure somebody's husband, even though the woman, I, I don't know. No. By nature, I don't have that, 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 uh, what do you call, that inclination inside me to do that. Not because I don't want to hurt my friends. I just don't want their men. Punto. <laughs> As Italians would say, full stop. Period. That's it. So I can continue again talking about this uh, subject, you know, that I'm enjoying being a woman. I love that a man is alpha male. I love that a man is the hunter. I love the man that has a sense of responsibility to take care of his woman. I love that. And I love a man being a man, but always respects his woman or respects me. And that's all for now that I can talk about. I don't allow myself to be a slave by a man. Having to do this, having to do that. First, earning my own money. And then after, I have to take care of his kids. And then after, I have to go to the grocery. And then after, I have to cook. And then after I have to think of that. No, I'm not like that. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. No. I'm old-fashioned maybe. Man, for me, he's the breadwinner. You know, if I can work, if I can make money, by all means. But it doesn't mean I have to take care of the man or I have to be the breadwinner of us. No, thank you. I don't do that. No. I like a man who has to have more power than me. And that is to be able to earn much much more than i could earn you know so man if you listen to this and you don't like it well just leave me alone <laughs> because no i'm not interested with men who have no power over me when it comes to financial finance he has to have a high quality you know i'm not interested in average joe anymore no way. No, you know, it's fun, you know, to have, you know, maybe younger men. Uh, for your information, yes, you can be young. I don't close my door, you know. But you have to have some power, please, you know. Maybe your looks. No, I'm not interested if it's only for your looks that you have power over me. No, thank you. You have to have something, you know. You have to same have. You have to have flair. You have to have the 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 the, the, the uh, what do you call that? Not dapperness. Dapperness? No. The the suave, suaveness, suaveness as a man. That's why you know something. 
all my friends whenever I mention okay all my friends don't understand me whenever I mention this but I like British men all, all, the, the, all the British men or the British men that I had as friends they were never disappointing to me and yet people always think British men oh cold man no 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 it's the contrary you know because maybe they are more oppressed or repressed as a man they have to be debonair you know suave they don't have to be so loud they don't have to um, over uh, what do you call over ah, the word the word the word overcompensate with their masculinity the British men they are very composed okay they are very very suave but yet they are to me they are the best British men or English men to be specific the best for me and then you hear the whole world has this stereotype that whoa Italian man woo Latin lover and they are not so much only the look only the style only the pose only the talk only the language only the you know the the, the reputation but only maybe one, you know, maybe, maybe, maybe one, two can, yes, can be fully masculine. But even that, not necessarily. You know, I don't know what I'm talking about now here because I can't go into specific details. But what the world knows or what is the popular belief about a man from a specific country it's not true it's not true okay to me English the best and so Italian can be that's what popular belief says the best not exactly okay the French I love also the French man I love because you know what I like is in a man is sensuality not sexuality Sexuality is animal. Sexuality is, is, is gross. Not for me. Not my cup of tea. I like sensuality. And the British and the French, they have it for sensuality. They have it. British and the French. In my book, Italian and German, they're much more animalistic. They're much more animalistic. Else. Of course, other type of women, maybe it so happens that I'm not that type, other types of women they like. So, of course, in their book, maybe Italian men are the best, or German men are the best. But for me, the British and the French. American is fantastic, but they're too, too, they're too, how to say, they're fantastic but they're I like American men though I do like American men I do like American men I must say uh, but they can be harsh in their talk you know in that case Italian men are better Italian men are more are more romantic in their way of courting uh, Italian men okay now okay I can tell you now exactly what I think Italian men are number one for courtship for courting a woman Italian men are number one for courting a woman oh I am my husband oh my god number one number one courting a woman American man is the badass type, you know, badass. It's great. 
It's also very sexy. American men, very, very sexy. Badass, very sexy. I love it too. But what's missing is the romanticism from their nature self, not from the book that they read or that they have been taught, you know, in their country. No, that romanticism, but from the heart, from themselves, from their authentic self. That's what I like about Italian men. Italian men, when they court you, they're very mature, very tender, very generous, loves traveling, loves restaurants, loves food, loves beautiful things, oh, loves music, you know, their music, not my kind of music, but romantic, that's Italian, okay? Indonesian men can be good too, very good. They are, uh, Indonesian men can, uh, is tender, also, Indonesian men is very tender, I must say, okay? Indonesian men are very tender, very, very protective. Indonesian men are very protective, you know? Like, Indonesian men, if we go for dinner, for example, you know, he, he, he can be so protective and so sweet, like, let's say we eat rice or whatever, okay? He would take the rice and put on my plate, you know, that is the tenderness of Indonesian men, at least the ones that I know, I used to know, or I knew. They would put their rice on your plate for you, you know, they would take the food for you, you know, and that's what I like, Indonesian men. Or once I had, a, uh, you know, an admirer, he was an architect, and we had a date. And he was held in meeting here in Jakarta. And he was so worried that he couldn't make it at 7.30 to pick me up for dinner. And at that time, we didn't have, of course, a mobile phone. So while I was waiting, you know, he couldn't call because he was held in a meeting. Who appeared in my house? Uh, uh, gate on my gate it was his driver you know his driver his driver asked oh what's wrong what's the matter oh he said mister is in a meeting but mister sent me here to ask you because he's going to be a little bit late so he's worried that you are hungry and that's why he asked me to come to you to ask whether you want me to go and order something for you. I mean, I have a house, I have a maid, you know, I, I could eat at home, but he sent me his driver so that I could tell the driver to go and buy some food for me while waiting for him to come and pick me up. Can you believe it? That's Indonesian man, you know? Good, that's Indonesian, that's different again, the tenderness, okay? I said, no, I'm not hungry, no, but Bapa, Bapa means mister, uh, send me, you have to have something, what, what would you like, I'll bring you something. Okay, so I'll do something light, you know, and he bring, and then not long after he came, you know, he came to pick me up, and then we went for a proper dinner. That's Indonesian men, tender, sweet, but different, not like Italian men. Italian men, tender and sweet, but in a musical way. Indonesian men in a, in a in a in a in a in a spoiling you way. Italian men in a musical romantic way. I don't know whether you get what I mean. Okay. So for the time being, I think I better stop because I can go on for hours talking about this subject. So oh my God, it's already so long. Oh my God, it's already what forty minutes? Is it? Oh dear, sorry, I have to stop. So this is my vlog for uh, Friday, second week of 2019. I hope you enjoyed my rambling. And uh, if you want to know more, I will gladly share with you. Of course, within reason, I'm not going to divulge names and 
uh, intimate details that I am refusing right now. But I can share you the pleasurable, pleasurable stuff, okay, the fun stuff. All right. So talk to you on my next video. I hope you enjoyed. And the new viewers, please subscribe. My name is Meta. I'm Indonesian. I now live back in my country, in the capital city of Jakarta. And it's been a year now. I used to live for many, many years in Milan, Italy, apart from many other countries as well. But my home base was Milan, Italy. So see you on the next video. Ciao, ciao.